Hey, Good Sam, this is Pastor Jed. It's good to connect with you. I'm actually at home, sitting at my dining room table. I've been thinking about relationships, and we just wrapped up our relationship series. We've been asking the question, how do we grow relationship God's way? And so we looked at encouragement. We were reminded that we are not built to be alone. We looked at what it looks like to resolve conflict in a godly manner. And on Sunday, we looked at forgiveness. Peter is talking to Jesus, and he's got a burning question. He's looking for the answer. And he comes to Jesus, and he says, Jesus, how many times do I need to forgive? Now, in that day and age, forgiveness was a big deal. Some rabbis would say you needed to give two, forgive two times. Some rabbis would say you needed to forgive three times. The gold standard, the highest level of forgiveness was seven times. And Peter just wants to know how many times he needs to forgive. I think it would be a little bit like one of my children coming to me, whether it's Andrew or Austin or Aiden or Allison coming to me and saying, Dad, how often... How much, how many times do I need to forgive? If you know my kids, you know it's not that they're just asking the question, how much do I have to give because I want to grow into forgiveness. They're wondering when the limit is coming, when they have crossed the line, when they can stop finally forgiving and get back to payback. I think that's what's happening with Peter. He's coming to Jesus and he's saying, Jesus, I've had it up to here. My brother, he's driving me crazy. James and John, they keep on doing the same thing that they always do. And I just am tired of it. How many times do I need to forgive? Jesus says something really important. It's at the heart of who God is. Jesus says, you need to forgive seven times seven. Now that's a, that's a phrase that the scholars keep on going around about. Is it 77 times? Is it seven times seven? Is it seven times 70? Uh, we don't know if the answer is 70. We don't know if the answer is 49. We don't know if the answer is 490. And it doesn't really matter because what Jesus is doing is he is saying to Peter and he's saying to me, And he's saying to you that we need to forgive forever. We keep on forgiving. We keep on forgiving. We keep on forgiving. Because forgiveness is at the heart of who God is. Forgiveness is at the heart of what God does. And if we're walking with Jesus, then we too should also be forgiving. Forgiving means letting go. Forgiving means not holding someone account for the pain that they have given us. Forgiving means wiping the slate clean. It's really hard work, and we can't do it without the help of God, without the guidance of God. As a church, I'm really pleased that we seem to be moving into a season where I'm hearing, I'm sorry, more and more and more. And I'm hearing, I forgive you, more and more and more. If we can continue to lean into the season, if we can continue to forgive the way that God has forgiven us, we're going to continue to be a church that reaches those who are wondering, does God love me and will God forgive me? And being a part of a forgiving community sends a clear message. Yes, absolutely. God loves you. God forgives you. And you're a part of a church that will walk with you through your bad days, through your worst moments, through the things that you say that that maybe you would take back. This is a place where you will be loved and you will be forgiven as we all learn to grow more and more like Jesus. If you haven't been a part of Wednesday Night Live, I wanna invite you to jump in. We're having our last session on Wednesday. We start at 5.30, come. We'll just share a meal together and then we'll break into small groups and we'll talk about what we learned on Sunday. I also wanted to let you know that next Sunday it's an all skate, it's an all aboard because we're talking about our spiritual gifts and each one of our ministry leaders is going to have an opportunity of sharing what God is doing in their ministry and they want to invite you to consider joining them. And so I'll see you on Wednesday or I'll see you on Sunday blessings.